Welcome to another edition of the Make Sierra Leone Famous Podcast. I'm your host, Vicki Rameau, producer, talk show host, writer, everything. But most importantly, a woman on the on a campaign to make Sierra Leone famous for the right reasons. I am in Freetown, Sierra Leone, and we are recording this podcast at VRNC Marketing Company. Today, we have a very interesting conversation that probably is inspired by a lot of comments that I've been seeing on social media over the past year. Well, actually, Boku Gombu, lots of comments. A lot of men are complaining, then don't tire for spend. And so I wanted to have a conversation about relationships, about love and money in relationships, roles and expectations. But why is this important? I think that we have to talk about relationships because conversations about relationships are really conversations about society. Society is broken down into smaller family units. If you go to any community, any country, we would talk about society. Society, not family, boku, 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 millions and millions of families. And before you become a family, not a romantic relationship, nine day begin. And then when you come below that, it's individual individuals, right? Men and women, or people who identify as men and women. So if we want to look at our society, the things that are happening between us, that the relationships we have, marriages, romantic relationships, it's really important for us to look at roles and expectations. So today's show, we're going to be talking about better relationship. You know what I can say? Better soup. Na money kilam. The question here is better relationship. Na waiting kilam. Na love or na money. With me in the studio, I have two guests, Sierra Leoneans, who live here and I hope have a lot of experience in relationships. <laughs> Me, as you guys know, you know, as president of the Single Ladies Coalition, I don't have a lot of experience in this in this area. I've brought some experts. So first <laughs> guest today is Roxlyn Alwyn Findley, who is a relationship therapist and a motivational speaker and radio show host currently with a call to business savings and loans. Welcome to the show, Roxlyn. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my other guest, you know, sometimes people say like cliche, they're like, um, this other guest needs no introduction. <laughs> um, so I'm doing that cliche. Uh, our next guest is Nikki Spencer Coca, women's rights advocate, a broadcast radio veteran, and a lawyer in the High Court of Sierra Leone, and the host with the most. You've seen her at She's hosted and been mistress of ceremony at like maybe maybe hundreds of shows over the last decade. Um, welcome to the show, Nikki. Thank you. Yay. So I'm really going to go right into it because lady soup begin cook. <laughs> Roxlyn, yeah. when you get into relationships, what are your financial expectations of your partner? Okay. From a personal level, I'll say this that... Um, for me, I've never been into any relationship at the start having a financial expectation. Mm -hmm. I have a more of an emotional expectation than a financial expectation. But also, I'll speak for other people who go into relationships for financial expectations. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you need a partner who's um, self-reliant, mm -hmm. a partner who's hardworking, because men of these days, you know, don't look out for people who are liabilities. They look out for people who are assets. To say, for example, if I'm pursuing a career in whatever field, the woman also, instead for they do something, they will too, they come and the end, meet somewhere. But it shouldn't be a relationship where you know, me no more they do everything. So now make you find out, say, the death of a partner, especially a man now, in most relationships, the woman itself, they become useless. Useless because everything that the man, everything that the man. But I'll tell you this, that, from what I gathered, because I'm a relationship therapist, like you said, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, the burden now is the financial burdens that people go through in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as the love is important, but um, if the man sees it that he's the sole provider, sole provider as in doing everything in the relationship, 
then come on, sex alone cannot prove a point to a man. A man can get sex somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But if you don't come with something as a woman, you don't bring in something, then sex is nothing to the equation. So I'll say this, that um, it's good from the start to have a financial expectation. Mm -hmm. But from my own side, it's more of an emotional expectation than a financial expectation. Okay. Nikki, where do you think people learn what their expectations ought to be? Like, where do people develop their notion of when I get into a relationship, I deserve this, or I should be getting that, or I should be giving this? Where do you think those expectations come from? So I think it really depends on your your upbringing and your background. Mm -hmm. um, I'd Disagree a little bit. Of but course, of course you would. We'll come back to that. <laughs> um, I got married at uh, the age of 31. Mm -hmm. I had my first child when I was 33. I um, separated, uh, my husband and I separated officially, formally in uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. After, uh, what was that, 17 or 19 years of the actual marriage. Um, and... I've um, so my experience um, of relationships and what I've seen since moving back to Sierra Leone a little bit different as to why people get into relationships. And I think background is is important for expectations, right? Um, so what you saw growing up, um, what was your own household like? Um, what's your own level of perhaps economic comfortability mm -hmm. before you? get into the marriage, right? Was the oh, becoming marriage, married your step up, mm -hmm. um, whether you're the male or the female. Mm -hmm. In Sierra Leone, what you see, and that's why I'm, I'm disagreeing, it's not about, he said men don't want liabilities. Mm -hmm. What I see is they actually don't go out for women, especially a lot of times the professional men who are on their educational, intellectual level. Mm -hmm. They don't go out for those women. They're going out for the little Pequito who is looking, who sees them as their be all and end all mm -hmm. and way up. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go now specifically to what I've observed continuously within the legal profession. Okay. If you look at the male lawyers, mm -hmm. very few of them, and I have a few notable exceptions, mm -hmm. but very few of them marry women who one, are of their same age mm -hmm. or of their same educational uh, level, mm -hmm. very few. They're always going for these much younger women who somehow seem to be um, then dependent on the idea of, well, they can't get out because me man a lawyer. I married, my, I mean my, I, what would people say? I shame for this. And, you know, so it's all become about the image, mm -hmm. right? So what kills the relationship there is not, you know, it's not, you know, the woman becoming a liability. It's that initially we, you didn't have discussion about why you were getting into the marriage in the first place. Sure. You didn't look, or for some reason there is an aversion to looking for women who are on the similar level, perhaps who are financially independent because they're no one's, Woman, we didn't feel safe, no good for control. That's the other narrative, right? So waiting kilam, now just lack of, you know, understanding at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring it back to myself personally, because I think sometimes, especially when you're younger, that you perhaps don't have all the discussions you're supposed to have beforehand okay. before you get into the relationship. Mm -hmm. And so then after you're in, that's when you suddenly just, you start discovering what is important to you. Some people are lucky. They're young, when they're much younger, they know exactly what they're going to tolerate, what they're not going to tolerate, what's good for them, what, you know. But sometimes you, it's, you're human, you learn it as you get into the relationship. So maybe what motivated you uh, in, you know, this rosy-eyed feeling that it's the love, it's the love, it's the love, when you, when you find out that the values are much more important and what can break a relationship if your values don't align. It's not necessarily even about, sure. you know, necessarily the money. Okay. So... Yeah. So what I so I've heard two things. So from Nikki, I hear um, what makes good relationship is partnership, right? Absolutely. If your peers, the closer you are to being peers, whether it's um, economic or financial peers or um, age 
peers or just some kind of level of compatibility that allows you to be on the same level, mm -hmm. right, um, is key for the success of the relationship. And what I hear from Roxlyn is that it's actually the same thing, mm -hmm. that men want partners who are their financial peers, yeah. or even if they're not their financial peers, that they they want more the want women who are making more of a financial contribution right. um, in their relationships. Okay, so we're in Sierra Leone. We know that while the constitution of Sierra Leone says that men and women are equal, that the quality of life or access to opportunities that boys and girls have at birth are not the same, mm. right? Yeah. So that then takes us to gender roles, right? And traditional customs around what men and boys are allowed to do and what girls and women are about to do. So Roxanne, my question to you is, yeah. in a society where the norm is not for girls to have the same kind of access um, to opportunities or education, et cetera, et cetera, um, in a society where girls and women are traditionally uh, treated like second-class citizens, right, where their earning power is therefore affected by um, these existing traditional beliefs and um, gender roles, yeah. how then can women be financial peers in the relationship? Because let's say you take a 40-year-old woman in Sierra Leone and you take a 40-year-old man, mm -hmm. The likelihood is that the access and on average, I'm not saying, you know, of course, there are families that, you know, maybe they're very, very well off and the woman is very from a wealthy family. So there are anom on anomalies or outliers. But at the base, if you walk at just na streets, you take 40 year old man <clears throat> and 40 year old woman, the 40 year old man, na salon, go get better education because in people that have been prioritized in your education over the money education. He go probably get formal employment. The woman not go get formal employment because women they not really they not the formal sector as much as possible. Even the even if they if they all to get woke, the man in 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 level within the 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 organization where they work go be higher because more um, positions them just naturally in a salon are reserved for men or people and just yeah. say now men then they make the good leaders. So is it fair then <clears throat> to have this expectation that women should be equal financial uh, providers or even contribute financially in a relationship if they're coming, out, coming into the relationship financially handicapped by the society that we live in? So I'm a man and I share the perception you also gave, but um, I do believe that women should be given the equal right. I not believe in that kind of thought of the ordinary man to say that um, because society has programmed that with my level of education, with my level of exposure, I do believe that it should be a 50-50%. But not also a day in no, reality. Yes. Now that you believe, yes. I believe but that the reality is different. The reason why that. I believe mm -hmm. that, I'm sharing my own experiences sure. because I am not custom by tradition or whatever I believe. Mm -hmm. When I go into a relationship, I don't look at um, what in society say or what in the norm don't be. I look at the fact where in, I can provide, I'm a father, I'm a helper, and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But also I'm expecting you as the woman to come halfway. Mm -hmm. Certain things, they instead of asking me to say, okay, I need this, I need this, you should be smart to say, okay, let me just fix this up. But also society, like you said, has been unfair to women. Mm -hmm. You know, if we expect women to be um, financial partners in our relationship, then they don't have the opportunities, then it's a problem. But also, as much as we blame society, I would say few of those women who are successful, mm -hmm. you know, will feel the pinch of that. But majority also don't take the lead. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women, the young ladies, you know, in their teens and... Um, no, in when a woman is in their teens, they're not a, a woman. Well, well, let's <laughs> start from there. Well, let's start from there. Let's start from there, from okay. the teenage stage okay, from the teenage to teenage. being adult, like... Even the expectation as a teenager, mm -hmm. you know, growing up, what you want to become, what you are into. Mm -hmm. So that point where you become a full adult. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
what you are expecting, what you're looking out for. I'll tell you this, like people in their 20s, 30s, early 30s, for now, they're just full of um, merry-go-round. What the world brings to them is what they accept. Mm -hmm. No clear strategy, no clear plan, no clear where they want to be. And um, it's just like, even as much as society has programmed it to be that way, but also you have a, um, a way to say no to it. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you come from an uneducated background, you know, for example, it doesn't mean you'll stay un uneducated till you die sure. as a woman or as a man. Mm -hmm. You have a real power to say no. So again, out of those many people, how many of them have even come forward to break the norm? Mm -hmm. That's also something. Then also in our society, like, like Nikki said, the case of the lawyers. I have seen lawyers who go in for the pequitos, the young girls, <laughs> because, you know... Lynn not ones. Alexin are the lawyers there. Everybody. <laughs> no, all yeah. the all, all, all professionals. Okay. Professional. Let's the say lawyers, professionals. The lawyers, the job, they are low. Because <laughs> I don't go all you know. Yes. Now, lawyer business, you know what? Problems with lawyers. <laughs> People who go in for the young girls, because the young girls, they bluff with titles. They go around and say, ah, na mi man this, you know, sabi, sure, I'm na barista. Sure. And these other things. Sure. So, whereas... Full-grown woman like Nikki and other people, they don't go for titles. They'll go for accomplishment. They'll go for fulfillment. they go for goals and so many other things. Mm -hmm. So it's also no a difference. Stress. Yes, it's <laughs> also a difference between the young and the old. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you this, that um, society needs to provide a platform for women. Mm -hmm. I believe if women are empowered, as a man seated there, I wish to see my woman even being empowered than myself. Mm -hmm. I will not be intimidated or be timid or, you know, begin suppress some and I also for say because you don't learn too much or you expose too much. You have some men, even when they know, for example, in your office or organization, you have been promoted to an executive level or a senior management level. Mm -hmm. They'll start thinking, ah, this is ordinary. Something at the boss, you don't go be this sleep. Sure. They just think that way. Mm -hmm. You have some men, you bring up the opportunity to say, I want to go and further my education. How about doing my master's or whatever? They will tell you, say, no. In yeah, fact, what they will bring is they'll bring childbirth as yes, a substitute mm -hmm. for that. Say <laughs> mm -hmm. so this way, you don't begin talking about this. Yes, yes, yes. So, no, like so let's see, don't suffer. You have some people who are that, but I think society with these kind of programs and platforms need to probably change the perception because this has been there for the ages. Sure, sure. And I don't know how it started, who started it, and where it started, but it's something that needs to change. Nikki, how can what can women do? Um, as they're looking for partners, right? Maybe we've been programmed to think that um, I need for fen man we I go access power or money through, right? We like man we go make her upwardly mobile, mm -hmm. go move me from one status to another. Respectability, yes, respectability. But um, what are the dangers, right, for women who? seek those kinds of relationships or make partnerships um, based on that? Like, what are the dangers and what are the things that can happen later on down the line? And what should they be thinking about instead? Um, you are, is it okay if I say your age? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're like, you, you've hit 50. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're 50 and fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, but as a woman in your 50s, like looking back now on your life, like let's say you were talking to a 20, Nikki in her 20s, right? who is out in the world and um, fabulous and living large, da, 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 da. Like, what would you say to the younger version of yourself about choosing partners? I know you didn't choose for money. Well, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but no, just this I idea that, like, for young women who are here and thinking, like, oh, my ideal is, is this person who has money and status and power, how does maybe that kind of power dynamic change over time? And what does that do for the women who are in those kinds of relationships. Vicky, one thing I've said about relationships in Sierra Leone, in my observation, number one, the young women get married too early. Mm -hmm. They come out of university and immediately the first thought is to get married, mm -hmm. not to, you know, establish yourself, enjoy yourself, you know, we don't have a dating culture, first of all, so that's problematic in itself. Mm -hmm. But basically, get to know yourself a little bit, get to your, to some um, independence on your own without uh, another partner. Immediately, the first thought is, you know, finding a, somebody to get married to. Maybe it's a long-term, long-time boyfriend. Maybe it's something that happens after that. But there seems to be a, this focus on these marriages that happen 
very, very quickly. And also very quickly, then you see this, the fault signs um, that happen after that. Uh, and so if I'm giving advice to, well, I took my own advice anyway, but if I'm giving advice to a, a younger person, a 20-year-old me, or even my daughters, mm -hmm. my eldest child has, is now turned 20, mm -hmm. and um, I have no interest <laughs> in seeing her married before she's done with her education, established herself, and, you know, so for me, I'm always like, yeah, hey, wait, and if, you're, if that's what you're looking for, and, and I have no interest in pushing any child into it either, mm -hmm. because I think that, you know, um, we should normalize and be comfortable with a position that not everybody needs to be in to be married. It shouldn't be the be-all and end-all goal of life, because if you make it the goal, mm -hmm. then, you know, um, problems and mistakes and mm -hmm. missteps could happen along the way. Mm -hmm. So for myself, if I'm giving advice, and this is this is the advice I gave myself, I took it. I'm happy that I didn't get married until I was done, established, doing my own thing, and then um, met my my husband, who we fell in love. We were both of an age, mm -hmm. but it was what it was. Uh, he didn't put me through school. He right. didn't give me money for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we I was he didn't make you. you no, know. sure. So. Um, I think that it it brings for the, from the woman's perspective a certain level of confidence mm -hmm. and independence because when things go wrong, if they go wrong, um, part of why sometimes these women are in such distress is because there is how do I get out of it? What do I do? Right. You know, who's going to take care of these kids that I have now? Mm -hmm. How am I going to, you know, take care of myself and, and, you know, the job, you know, whatever it is, mm -hmm. because there isn't that history or foundation of some sort of level of confidence in, you don't, you know, before I married this, my husband, yes. I've been only walk small beats. Yes. I don't get, so I know, say, okay, something, but I know, say, I can't go back of and I'm going to do that. And so that, so that is, I think a lot of times the danger for some reason, there's just this rush and want for Go and jump inside them. Then get ex then they, you know it's this thing like I think when girls transition to womanhood, mm -hmm. like early uh, adulthood, I think what they're told, what we're told when we're younger here is that as a woman you have an ex expiration date, mm -hmm. right? So you want to be able to man not go to you. Well, you want to no. catch the man really quickly <laughs> because you think your prime is in your early twenties. So if I can catch the man really quickly in my early 20s, mm -hmm. then like I'm safe and I'm set, I'm set for life. Right. So I think that that's probably what motivates people to like really just be on the hunt. Right. Vicky really Lagi, early. you want mm -hmm. small example. Me, brother, mm -hmm. any um, ex-wife, mm -hmm. then when they university together were college sweethearts, as we say in America, and then they go through all the university then graduate. They're all two, 21, 21, mm -hmm. you know. And immediately after they graduated, both had great and excellent jobs, mm -hmm. right? Immediately, they were getting married. Mm -hmm. And we were all like, eh, you know, reverse. I mean, yeah. when I don't date together yeah, for long, yeah, it's yeah. not a rush. Yes, I mean, yes. you know, when I relax, when I go, mm -hmm. when I, you know, go live, 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 live a little live. bit, you know, they didn't listen. Anyway, then go, they're married. Um, and within, you know, the year, two years, me brother... Of course, all in, they always graduate in party there. They're all young men. Yeah, they're right? out. They're out. Oh. They got money coming. They belong to the Let's streets. go ski trip. Let's go. T -t 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 Let's go. And he can't go. He's got, mm -hmm. you know, wife is like, hey, mm -hmm. dude, you know, what, what's up kind of thing, yeah. right? And so fault lines started coming in. And they were divorced after five years. And he completely acknowledged that it was, it was his fault. They're great friends to this mm -hmm. day. She's remarried, got a kid and everything else. But my belief is if they had waited, mm -hmm. oh, man, you know, yeah. Sometimes they have them for split off for some time and come back to get sure. out. I don't know, but I mean, you know, it was like he was biting. You know, it, it was it just feel like see he was losing out. Mm -hmm. Young man, all your party then they, but then you are, you know, ball and chain. Exactly. Ball and chain. So I mean, it goes both ways, right? It, but so I, for me, I'm a real. I'm not saying it doesn't work. There are plenty of examples of where young marriages work for the lifetime and they're right. great because right. really it's not about it's not necessarily about the age it's about compatibility mm -hmm. it's about shared interests it's about you and know values. shared goals and values and that sort of thing right um but if you 
I believe that if you young men and young women wait a little bit out of that twenties mm-hmm. and in Sierra Leone for wait when I say when I'm still young at when I'm still not youth at almost yeah, even at age, 30. some absolutely <laughs> outrageous nobody be able to count no man or woman a youth at thirty please your youth ends really at twenty I think is when Sierra Leone is when. 35 is when youth expires, I think. Yeah. They had revised, during the war, they revised the definition of youth. youth. Well, right uh, after yes, the war. They did. To accommodate people who had lost 10 years, right, mm-hmm. as a result of the war. And we tried to, we, we, I was part of a, the group as we were putting to together the National it. Youth uh, uh-huh. Policy to bring it back down to and what would be globally okay. standard. But it was like, nah, you gotta get, you know. So it, it's, it's, sure. it is what it is. But the point is, um, give yourself an opportunity Sure. To do some things. Mm-hmm. I really wish we actually had a proper dating culture. We don't. So you can't even get proper girlfriend and boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Because as you get a boyfriend, so or the girlfriend, you're expected just to be with yes. that person. Oh, no. You're just, you know, <coughs> that's it. You know, no the and, ink you know, no more. You need to buy the cow. I mean, <laughs> really, you know, what can you please take me out on a few dates? Yeah. Let's go and do some stuff, some fun stuff together. Oh, hang a little yeah. bit and then if courtship. I want, you know, yeah, courtship. And forget yeah. you then maybe there's another one and you know just mm-hmm. as casual as possible and just to get to know people get to know yourself mm-hmm. as well what you like what you don't like what you appreciate what you don't appreciate mm-hmm. but you know you know say salon man as they yeah. meet you so the next thing I can't find you now your oath I want not find you can't find to do what <laughs> um, so. well I think it's it's so many factors responsible society is one when I say society everything in society mm-hmm. family pressure yeah. You, you know, you you're born to a family, probably you know the big one at the family, the small one they're all long married, they begin to pamper you. Hey, you stay the married, you come in the all married. Then also you have the peer group influence mm-hmm. from friends. Yeah. You'll be working with a team of probably four and maybe two don't married, maybe left one or two, but the one way left, something they don't propose to herself next year in the married. Mm-hmm. So which means that you no more left. Mm-hmm. So it's in the be in that kind of situation. You will be the one like to say, okay, because of my circle, let me also force. Yeah, all man are married. All man are married. Yeah. Then we have this whole thing called Bon Pekina married. Mm-hmm. We get this philosophy. That's also the, the song say. No, the well, song say, no. Bon we, Pekina to married. Yeah, Bon Pekina <laughs> to married. But the thoughts now is Bon Pekina married. Yes. You date into a relationship, it's casual. We want for know yourself. The next thing, I bet they can say. That belly way you go for grandson and an engagement they can say. I wish so women would see that no you are being man forced, has ever stayed for yeah. any child. You are being forced into a situation where you don't really want that day. Okay, sure, picking don't come back, sure. accept the picking, but we can yeah. still move on casually sure, until sure. that time where we're ready. But now, if you don't go for go and Sarah Belede and engage, sure. something else will happen. Yeah. Sure. So a lot of people are being tied up into relationships, marriages where they're not be ever one for them too. Then also, finally, the love for money, fame, power, mm-hmm. wealth, you call it. Mm-hmm. It don't feel we ladies their mind. I'm sorry I have to be blunt on ladies because that's the whole thing. At 20 something, you want for let your man be that kind of influential person. You get man woman and now at 20 something where you know they keep married man. So, so I didn't say they be sacred. We keep married, man. You need to talk and self. Mm-hmm. But now ladies at 25, they boast of them. They even go cause the married woman. Go to the point they challenge you because why? Because it's <coughs> us the men that give them the power. Sure. And before, so I think those things are Before necessary. we get to that, I wanted to continue on from where we were about some of the risks of when you're in a relationship, when you're a woman mm. and you get into a relationship or you choose a partner because of their wealth or status. Mm. Um, some of the things, I remember growing up in Sierra Leone and just like seeing women, older women that I know get married and always they never did get married to peers they always got married to some very wealthy man mm-hmm. just in my neighborhood in Bananawata there was a there's like a mixed race family mm-hmm. and uh one of the women you know yala mm-hmm. ifine you know this standard mm-hmm. salon with men call like a jewel mm-hmm. you know then I remember one full man being come out for him but you know been done school yet but the full man come out for him people they make marry they marry them mm-hmm. And he built this big, big house. Um, they say now it was a white. The house was white, so they call it a white, white house. house. <laughs> um, and that man was cruel. He was cruel. Yes, the woman beautiful. All man they see beautiful. All man they see man in wealth. 
all man people that we not know from the outside yeah. then they jealous you understand but I no say where the woman me they come for me granny when I like me auntie to her mm. all ten about domestic violence mm-hmm. and abuse and just wickedness mm-hmm. like even beyond the abuse like internal wickedness yeah. where the man go deprive the woman like of abuse? kindness of like a, a joy satisfaction even the way we been the after them about picking and the control over the picking the, the access like just like very like for say truly mm. the woman a property mm. you know yeah. one other auntie like consistently the same story one me other auntie um he left the man eventually in self Fine, fine girl, young girl, mm-hmm. not done school. Man come off for her. He married the man. The man a man of society, blah, 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 blah. Eventually married. Exactly. Like, I get so many instances in my life of women that were sabi. Fine women that were not done school. Then choose um, power. Either, well, actually, I'm not going to say them choose. Them and them family. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Them and them family. Because I believe, say... Who say you people then team up for you? Say no, we begin not go. Now you now go for so, but then yeah. one day why they talk, but not to people, mm-hmm. not to like for say their family not be while they married, now then go married for themselves. No, right. they begin get the full blessing of the family. Of them family. And for me, now that's not one of the dangers them that I, I really do believe, like Roxlin say, say, man them they resentful yeah. of woman, even the man way get money. And of course, when they talk about get money for the salon standard, it is relative. Yeah. yeah. Get money in a relative thing in a salon. Mm-hmm. You will show off, you get money. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> person, yeah. person can get motor car, he get old. Salon then go say, he get money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But even property and financial liquidity, not to the same thing. No. And person in wealth can change. Over, over time. time. Yes. Right? So sometimes we be married you, if you get boku 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 money, Right, that you don't set this financial expectation or standard. Say na ina the one mm-hmm. provider. Then in financial situation don't can change. But you don't married you already. You no glance. You no go school. Mm-hmm. You no get no financial. Which was fine with him at the beginning. Yes, yeah. but now you no get money again. So it it, it vex. Mm-hmm. So every morning you get for member say, look this stupid idiot dog. Look where you fiba. Look where you this. You know. And I know so many stories like that. So. You know, one of the things that I've been come out with many, many years ago, I've been say, you know, I've been they publish one magazine, go my magazine. Now. I come with this slogan: "A man is on a financial Had the plan." T-shirt. I even get the polo. I've been getting on my phone, <laughs> and it been come from this idea and this notion that like, man can help you, yes, mm-hmm. with your life, with all things, whatever, whatever. But as the woman, you not forget and that you. Mind say na the man na na the finance you That's financial right. plan or financial yeah. security because their fortunes will change and also I not really think say real partnership way um, Nikki mini talk about real partnership can exist in relationship way una know they bring things of equal value can the relationship right yeah. Yeah. because but man can look at like for say e for born picking a waiting you not go say because you born picking for me then they like equal to um the financial waiting and call what they bring. E, ura, I must put my name in a discuss with able born picking. But left me. So do you understand what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, th- that's sure. a that's a key issue. What do you, Roxin, what do you think men can do or what do you think they need to be thinking about in differently about how they choose their women? Because if we're not so focused on how we bobby cack, how we waste cack, mm-hmm. how we peck it to, how we this and that, da 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 waiting Waiting can change or happen in the long run at any relationship. Then the way you they choose person, we not to you peer, we not to you. Because you you they talk say the man and on tire with the financial burden, right? Yeah, most but men. at the end of the day, not so people then they force them yeah. for pick the woman the way then they of pick. Course, course. So what should men be thinking about differently about their approach that will allow them to find partners who love them? And not partners where they look like look at them like a ATM machine. Men men must be futuristic, you know, looking out for a partner. Think about the future, okay. but also look for compatibility, like what Nikki said. Mm-hmm. You know, compatibility. I'll tell you this in all mm-hmm. aspects, not just love. Mm-hmm. Even now, then late born away, man don't marry two man for many years. Mm-hmm. They not get speaking. 
this part of the world, they don't know say before, like for example, in other areas of the world, before we're not going to a relationship, now they go check on herself. Mm-hmm. Let we see if we're compatible. Mm-hmm. So that's in now if we're not going to pick in yes, I, like I, I not blame, yes, you know. But now in this part of the world, it's missing. Mm-hmm. So now I expect, say for example, if I married Nikki, after two, three years, we'll forget picking. Mm-hmm. Picking or come, the pressure they come. The family, oh, the everybody begin to put an eye on the woman, failing to realize that even the man self can get fault. And now this common thing now where they make man in order to get picking infection on canal for right. we demand them. Yeah. For example, a man can contract infection. Mm-hmm. Then it can be a stumbling block to you. Mm-hmm. So I think men have to be futuristic. Mm-hmm. Think about the future. Think about shared goal, shared interest. Mm-hmm. To say, for example, if I'm looking for a partner, this is what I'm expecting from this person. Mm-hmm. Somebody we are going to build with them, somebody we are going to deal with. Mm-hmm. But as much as you can get that as well, along the line, some people like can portray some of those qualities. Mm-hmm. From the start, Nikki can portray, like, say, that, that kind of future. You mean pretend. Yeah, pretend, yeah. Pretend, 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 like, yes. say, that kind of future partner with some of these things that I like. Mm-hmm. As we really go on, mm-hmm. I can't see a different person in them. But you know, things say that make the rush not for the Because exactly. we're trying to say, Nikki say, not for say, like, people don't take their Society, time, they right? rush we now. Okay. We not get choice, both man and woman. Okay. We not get choice. A man no, go in a relationship. I disagree with but you not get choice, though. You get choice. Yeah, we get choice. But how many of those men or how many of those women will make those choices for themselves without being influenced by family members? You know, some of we don't like put family aside. We are listening to them half, half Watson, and half. How old are you? If you don't mind I am in my 40s now. Okay. Yes. okay. So when you don't we are listening small. to... small. You don't eat small guys. We, we are <laughs> listening to people half and half. Yeah. But the thing is, when you listen to parents too much... Mm-hmm. Too much. They begin count then kind and they thoughts they begin kind. So I will say this that if a man has to go into a relationship, think about the future, mm-hmm. think about the plans, think about what you want. Mm-hmm. A lot of men don't know what they want in a relationship. A lot of men don't know even know what they look for. Mm-hmm. A lot of people go for the casuals. Mm-hmm. Like Nikki said, they want to man we don't make her open a life. You know, me woman we get os for himself. Mm-hmm. We the man go left your os, he mm-hmm. go transfer to the woman. Then at the woman, the parents, the man they go turn king at the house. They wake in the morning, wear boxer and vest. Mm-hmm. They say, um, Vicky, please mm-hmm. give me yes. a cup of tea. Me you know, oh, give me yes. coffee and everything. They want go turn. Not, not Vicky. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So they want go turn landlord already yeah. in the right, house. Right, so right. those things, men have to move from that and start thinking of the future. Of course. Vicky, I think, I think, isn't that what about, I think for me, it's what is a partnership? Okay. You know, what does this partnership mean? Mm-hmm. What is 50-50? You talked about 50-50. Yeah. What exactly I don't, is... I don't think, I don't think people want 50-50. No. In Sierra But Leon. what does it mean? I mean, really, to be 50-50? Because it is possible. And yeah. let's not make it seem as if only the only relationships that are going to work are those where the um, both partners are working and all that sort of thing and bringing something financial. It is possible to have a relationship, a partnership, where there's an understanding between yeah. the two of you that... For the this woman is home, mm-hmm. um, taking care of the kids, right. homemaker, and probably doing a whole bunch of other things yeah. as well. I mean, I have a friend, you know, who and it works. Is a professional man. His wife also is a professional woman. Yes, but many years ago, they decided that she would stop working to care for their kids. Like yeah. she, if she wanted to work today and get a job, she she could. would get a job. Yeah, but they just decided that they really wanted to be. They want to make sure that now they raise them picking them, not yes, to nanny, nanny, not to this, not to that. So then decide to get a say um, in our work. And the man not resentful of the and woman because key. in a the financial, sole financial provider. Because sure. n- you know, it's in that they all to choose for lady woman not work again. You know, they complain. In fact, if you can say, you can they watch me, it's me, man, but they can watch me. You say, Vicky, anyway, you able, woman like you, you know, for the works. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you know, <laughs> like what you know, you know? By yourself for. But the thing about it is, it's work. Yeah, you know, yeah. and and also that's not going to be part of the conversation because the woman who stays home to raise kids mm-hmm. and to take care of the home is it's work. It's not work that necessarily you you they put up you able for put a dollar price or Leon price, but you can, you can put it because let me, let me take for example, you can put it because look, okay, let me forget about salon. You yes. can actually put. A, you can put a, a number to the cost of child care yes. and labor because now America, for example, the under the America, one nanny pam, one uh, for Sunny Pingo daycare, for example, mm. for months. Some people and they pay between 
$2,400 yes. and $4,000 per month, month for one picking yes. and they care. So already that they tell you, say, financial financial number day. So if you begin to quantify, say, let's say I get two picking, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That means, say, that's that, that woman where they did not us, where they care for the picking, then your mama, if now work him in the work as child giver, mm-hmm. you understand? Every month for each picking where they watch, if I make $4,000, Right, sure. so if every pick for every picking yeah. add the money, yes. you understand what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So there is actually yes, there's finance, yeah, yeah, financial absolutely, thing. absolutely. So I mean, it's and again, it comes down to the the ability for decide. Like you talk about, men don't know what they want, but yeah. we get for you know relationship therapists. I think that's part of it. We all of us mm-hmm. perhaps go into these relationships too early without really you for doing like a contract. We really get for go step by step I mean, by step by step. marriage is a contract. It is a contract. <laughs> it's it supposed is. to and be. <laughs> we get, you know, we all get, you know, the love, the love, and oh my God, my soulmate, and uh, all See, this kind of stuff. See, I don't care the love, the soulmates, in the salon. I know they hear that. Yeah, okay, well, let me talk about myself. Okay. <laughs> now you need to talk. I know they hear the love, the soulmates, in the salon, no. You, I know why. Yeah. I know they hear the love, the soulmates. If you stop most people then at this country, you ask and say, the person you day with. Yes. Wait till you lack bottom. Like, wait till make you day with time. Yes. Nine times out of ten, if a man they talk, it they talk, but it they cook for the woman yes. they cook for me, it mm-hmm. they wash me clothes, mm-hmm. it they listen to me, mm-hmm. this is that, mm-hmm. da, da, da. Mm-hmm. And if na woman you ask, mm-hmm. it will tell you say, eh, then they it it do me yeah, yeah. it they give me this, da, da, da. So really where you can't track break and down. I very rarely they hear you say, you know, this person I was just blown away. Has just loved me. Is loving me mm-hmm. in a way that allows yeah. me to be a better version of, of myself. myself. Yeah. Which is they're enabling you to really thrive, mm-hmm. right? So it's not really about anything yeah. that they... So Miki always say, in my own relationship, then, yeah. if I last in a relationship, now because the way I deal with the person, the kind of emotional support with the person they give me, mm-hmm. they allow me... For be better at all the things the way I need for be, which yeah. is somebody where I go say, hey, hmm, I don't really want for do. Da, 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 da. We go say, no, oh mommy, uh, you go need for do because mm-hmm. now you be not tell me say you this is so, so, part so, so. of the importance yes. to yeah. you. Yeah. So the yeah. for go. So yeah. something as simple as me complaining about, oh, I don't want to go to the gym today. Right. 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 My partner saying. Mm, no, I think you will go because right. you said the, it's important to, to you. you. Mm-hmm. I you have to. And I don't tra- want to hear you complaining. Yes, about this, no, that, you can complain, <laughs> but you go get for go because we yeah. know it's go happen yeah. if you not go right. Yeah. So for me, that that's the kind of partnership mm-hmm. that I look for. Yeah, which you are knocking they look for, and which you are not need na financial support, mm-hmm. right? Because to me, I think say, e very important for le all man, man or woman. Mm-hmm really be financially responsible so as to not burden your partner. partner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Because what financial responsibility na me, me mama, me papa, mm-hmm. me obligations, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. no and for say you because when you know financially independent and you go marry, that means say the burden. All your financial responsibility, not just your upkeep. Yeah. You mama in upkeep, you papa, all thing now. Now you partner in the camp and for. Yep. And I think say na dan de na de make, make money make the woman and the gains. Sure. Mm-hmm. Because now, not to you one oh, you auntie sick, then can't to you, mm-hmm. na the man. Mm-hmm. You mama sick, then can't you sister need for go school, school fee. So after a while, it's like, hey, but na the one of village. Mm-hmm. Even the bearing. <laughs> Sometimes sickness better now. Now some people and they die in the family now. Every they week, expect every say day. you were married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you man for care. come inside. In case now you want get no married at a family. Yeah. They, they expect you man for coming Andy, like for yes, can't take for over can, the bearing. Yes, but yes, how long yes. that man go they come only for the can't take? And so many extended family name too boku. <laughs> and Boku such that they're not even know how end. Right. But well, I'm, I guess, I'm, I'm, now the way how we look at family as well, right? Uh, um, how how we look at family. Salon family extended. Family, no, no, very, not very all. Extended, but not all. Me and, Thank you. No, me well, family. Okay. It's up yes. to me. I will tell you, say, <laughs> me self, me self na Creo, uh-huh, yes, so. right? But the majority of people in a salon are not. Of not course. to Creo. Creo, 
how you day, now so you day. Yeah. If you yeah. don't go call, then mm. not they ask you. Nothing. If they see you today, cousin Kusha, eh, mm. Kusha, how did you go? Definitely. Tell the master, thank you. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. But I don't, not, know if not, I don't know if not nobody cares. Now, really, more. No, we have an agreed contract, contract amongst yes. us yeah. that. And all they come on are you with me. Mm. Not come on me with me. And Simple. not expect say. Yes. And, not, and not ever they yes. look and say, um, you know, because you na or my sister in picking there, or you na me sister or brother, whatever yeah. you might, whatever they're there for, that's also your house to come. No, no, no. Yes. 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 Your side yes. and yes. Sort no, so out. family, yes, if family help, dynamics help, are family. Very different. But most people then they not get that. No. You know, Creos are Creo family structure Weird. Yeah. really different. But that also comes from the fact that I can tell people and say... But it comes with problems too. True, but I can tell people and say the structure... Wait to make Creole families that able to get that and do that way they not because Creoles then are the only ethnic group where as an entity, we are not related to each other. Mm-hmm. By that yeah. I mean... Mm-hmm. So me granny we come on a magbele mm-hmm. on me mama side. Mm-hmm. Me granny fumble to all man na magbele. Yeah. Yes. They are one clan. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning they all descended from the same family bloodline. Right. right. So we is we in in, pap, in so in papa, me granny in papa, in brother, and in so me granny uncle and in auntie them. Mm-hmm. All them picking them. Na mi granny in fambo. Right. Mm. Then picking them, picking them. Oh. Na mi oh, granny in fambo. Oh, right. Then, then causing them, picking them. <laughs> Everybody. Na fambo. Mm. Right. So the one old village na Magbele. Right. Fambo to mi granny. Yeah. Sure. In Freetown, the Creoles are only family to their family. Right. Yeah, immediate Meaning, family. right now na free tongue, I can tell you say, mi papa na salon na fuck na. Yes. Mm. He is only related to People who are related to the Faulkners. Yes. Yeah. If you're not related to Faulkner, we're not fumble. Yes. Sure. And so the number smaller. Yes. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sure. But like, then, then, then Kabia, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. then Kabia we come on Magbele, a mm-hmm. eh, 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 loco. Then, me, then, then, then on one side of the family, then yes. my mama's side, then come on Makini, right. na Rubane Road. Rubane. Then Kamaga, then Kabia, you know them Boku. No, it's not a joke. No, true, so, true. so the the concept of family for yeah. Creoles is so different yeah. than we can get away with cousin, 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 because we're not really Boku in mm, that way. They, right. Other ethnic groups can't. They right. really can't. They yeah. really the pressure day. Yeah. The pressure There's pressure, day. but um, you know, um, whatever the case may be, even within uh, our different different groups and mm-hmm. stuff. This you still in this modern day as you go forward. Mm-hmm. We get for they do something about expectations. Oh yeah. yeah. And um and and just ensuring that when because what happens? You talk about um the man responsible for this, that and resenting this, that, and the other. But then they go and find this outside interest mm-hmm. or two mm-hmm. that they can spend a lot of money on mm-hmm. when they choose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes maybe depriving the family. Mm-hmm. And that outside interest day is one of two things. One, it's for sexual encounters, mm-hmm. or that person they not really the compatible one with you. Yeah. That and yeah. they yeah. talk to, yeah. that and they get then they en- get the enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah. That and they yeah. wanna get the same musical sure. taste, Everything. the same uh, and book taste, mm-hmm. movies, blah blah. So blah. the you woman, the woman of your dreams, mm-hmm. yeah. it's, it's not, not the one your you marry. It's not, yeah, exactly. not the one you marry, and that is a. Very common thing. Yes, because I've come to the find man out self, they married too quick. Yes. The, so. I don't meet Boku Boku young man the way. Mm-hmm. I Mickey always show where I meet young man at salon where they twenties or early thirties. Yeah. I ask what they call they're they're all married. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh wow, <clears throat> this is interesting to me. Because the assumption that men make is that then self don't know who that they be. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> By the 10 and 20, something and 30. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no. No. Just like a woman in her 20s and early 30s is really just getting to know who she is. Mm-hmm. Even you as a man, where you day in your 20s and early 30s, you don't know who you are. I don't care, man so or woman, you don't know that, who you are. Because, I mean, I can tell you and say, biologically, mm-hmm. the human brain, the prefrontal cortex, where they influence your decision making, mm-hmm. 
enough fully developed till you all 25. Yeah. Definitely. So you have no business even before you're 25 making any life decisions. No. Because you know, you're not so even fully formed hum, adult human <laughs> being. No, <laughs> you're not then. making. Yeah. You bring, now that make way with they talk biology, with they talk uh, 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 human development, you have um, infants, yes. toddlers, yes. Uh, children, adolescents, yes. yeah. before you get adults. Adult. Yes. Before 25, you're an adult, you're an ad adolescent. Now that make where you where the world they define youth now twenty four then they end up yeah because now after twenty five you brain they done oh. for develop mm. so you get people in Ayaso waiting say as long as I don't done school I'm an adult and you're you're not so big man standard like me so we single the amount of man the way they yarn me first of all I can yeah. make if I make list now this country we they lock the country <laughs> down you know how Yvonne Nelson writes book yeah. I can say if I be he writes book but the, the men that have yarned me that little black book yes the married <laughs> men that are chasing me so in this episodes. country no we we'll go get for lock the country first then we discuss okay and a lot of them I do truly believe that what they're attracted to is my spirit of independence. Mm -hmm. What they're attracted to are all the things that they not be even no say, then go lek pa uman. And that's why you see nowadays these weddings, people don't cut their coat according to their size. Mm -hmm. You're getting married. Who's when I'm you and pa you married? Go do your wedding as then you're you able. You yeah. If you're, I'm not contributing <laughs> to anybody's wedding. Not a <laughs> single person. If if you, if you, if you make me God, my me maybe as I choose, I might sure, sure. do your your. I might do the you know I might do a tea for the bride okay, or something. Yeah, some you know thing. I might do something like that yeah. or whatever. You know and and be there as a, a as a support system because mm -hmm. that's really what the godparents are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But it's not my business right. for your wedding. Right. If you pockets no reach. Mm -hmm. So, um, been to many conference center. No good. Take yourself to the registry and get married. But it's even a valid some wedding. people there, the pockets not even reach for the inside relationship, right? Yeah. That's so, cool. so, so this is one of the things that yeah. we are not can understand per man. Like, where the man and can they complain about mm -hmm. the financial obligations in the dating or the pre marriage stage? I'm always like, if you feel like the responsibilities is too heavy there. In the dating already, where you keep too the much. woman, yeah. it's too much. You actually, it means say you not date in a place where you financially stable enough for you or get woman. To marriage, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. for back in the days, if you not, they didn't even give you woman if you're not able to prove, say, you able, you able take care financially of take care mm -hmm. of the woman, sure. right? Sure. So it's like, yeah, men also need to be aware of the reality that. Sir, maybe you need to stop focusing on womanizing mm -hmm. yeah. and build yourself up first. Personally, I tell people like the reason why I'm not so focused on a man or men in general, I'm trying to get rich. No. Where I don't get boku money, I go pick any man who I want. Anyone. Because you know what? Better relationship na money killer. I will be like Cher. I will better. throw money like Madonna. <laughs> yeah. we, I will ah, if you're I go date anybody. Because... Una no wants man or woman we get money. money. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And Pumps. they're like, oh, but you go down old. I said, have you seen the kind of plastic surgery that's going uh, on this day? Aside from that, go, Vicky, mm -hmm. you said something earlier about the men not being um, aware that they're even attracted to the independence. Yes. Yeah. yes. I can tell you for, I mean, that is the absolute truth. And, but the thing about it is, I always say, but why don't you go talk to your wife? Mm -hmm. Why are you always, I mean, go, why did you go talk to your wife? That's, that's your who wife you should be, be talking to. That's your you companion, know, be I your want companion. Choose your talk choice. Talk to me. And that's my husband should be talking to me. I don't yeah. want to be talking to you. Go no, talk. No, but Nikki, to you. you understand. No, 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 no. Nikki, you know. You knew, know who you should marry then. Go and talk yeah. to your wife. That's who you should. If you don't, if you can't have that conversation yeah. with your wife, they had no business marrying her in the first place. Yeah, get it. Why did you marry her? Yeah. For can't no, suffer the girl now. You yeah. didn't suffer the girl because hey, now Mickey, you, make so you don't mind. You don't know, left an eye host by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're out, you know, oh, trolling oh, the oh, streets oh, with oh, the oh, ones oh, who oh, you oh, want oh, to be your friends. Oh, and oh, it's, oh, you know, so we really, like you said, money na, better relationship na money kill em. Yeah. I'm not sure save na the money kill em. <laughs> na lack of foresight na in kill em. <laughs> You know, really, 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 you know, the lack of foresight na in kill em. <laughs> we have to be, you have to be, uh, this I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. You have to be friends with your partner. Everything Best else, friends. everything true. else is going to die. I agree. Yeah. If the friendship can last, mm -hmm. 
trust me, my husband and I, we're not friends right now. Mm -hmm. We are cool people. Mm -hmm. We have two daughters that we love, mm -hmm. but I cannot say that we are friends. Mm -hmm. We were buddies, best of friends. Mm -hmm. And of course, Sierra Leone came in and killed everything. <laughs> That's the other thing with Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. But the reason why, really, the relationship would um, dissipate mm -hmm. is because that friendship went away. Yeah. You know, he, I know he does not consider me his friend now. Okay. And I don't consider him sure, my friend. Sure, sure. You know, so I, but I totally believe that if you can maintain that friendship, right. friendship will sustain you through Absolutely. a whole host yeah. of things. Mm -hmm. Friendship will tell you how to navigate the issues of the money mm -hmm. and whether or not somebody who was home now perhaps needs to be able to be in the position where you have to um, get more education, go out in the working world. Sure, sure. Or maybe she was content to be home caring for the kids, but now she's getting on and wants something more, because right. the kids are going to leave, by the way, right. you know, going to be out, and then what, you know. And so if that's my message, mm -hmm. if anything that's killing the relationships is lack of friendship. Okay. She wasn't your friend, he wasn't your friend mm -hmm. to start off with when you got in. That money is not going to sustain you down the line. It ain't. Because sure. even if it's there and even you're still together, that you're not friends, he's going to be out or you're going to be out. Roxanne, yeah. what do men need to do? What would be your advice to men for them to increase their chances of better partnerships, of finding love, and um, finding women who will offer them the kind of... Um, marriage or long-term relationships where they feel satisfied? Okay, it's about um, pursuing what mm -hmm. your heart says. It's about going for what you want mm -hmm. and then being sincere to yourself first because a lot of men are not sincere. And then um, it's about whether you want to be casual or whether you want to be futuristic. Mm -hmm. You have to be decisive. You can't be like she said, you can't be in your 30s or 40s and probably because of the societal pressure and everything, okay, let me say go wash, go married. Or let me say go wash, go pick a wife. Mm -hmm. You pick a wife now, you don't want to be with her. Mm -hmm. She's not your best friend. Mm -hmm. You have a best friend outside yep. who you call a bestie. Mm -hmm. You have someone you go out with and your bestie, you're doing everything like you do to your wife yep. with your bestie. Mm -hmm. So what's the reason why you get to married? Yeah. So now I'll say, be sincere to yourself. If you think it's time to get married, fine. If you think you're not ready yet, you're not ready yet. Mm -hmm. Let a person not pressure you. Even you, myself, let not pressure you. Say, hey, mm -hmm. don't even I don't deal with you now. Wait till mm -hmm. now, you stay, go marry me. Okay. You, not all relationships are meant to last forever. Absolutely. There was nowhere in the Bible, because I, I'm a Christian, there was nowhere in the Bible where it's written that the first relationship where you keep nine for lead you to your life Day ending. Yeah. I never say. <clears throat> so for the fact that Bible not talk am, or Quran self no right and say the first relationship. Mm -hmm. It's no no it's not thing bad to like get some several experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, me woman don't disappoint me. Okay. Yeah, I don't get woman they don't disappoint Sorry. me. Sorry. We get so many bond people, we don't bond other people, we get so many hot people, we don't hurt other people. Sure. You think it's only men that are disappointing women. No, no. Um, woman said it disappoint man. Because yeah. for example, you see the future in this person. Mm -hmm. You see the plan in this person. Wait till me make woman disappoint me at my early age. You see, I'll be too serious for him, for him type. I'll be too <laughs> serious. As much as I would, like, yeah. I'll be even big for him, but mm -hmm. I'll be the cow of the future to him, yeah. book learning, cow, everything. You guys were not in, we yeah, were yeah. not I'll be too serious. I'll be too serious. And I'll ask if you don't study, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to allow an ami O's. <laughs> we go meet that junction. We're not going to give him kiss or hug. So I'll be too serious. <laughs> You know, so woman disappoint me, and that, that, that then you know, later now, this. then I'm later now, you. where can you say I don't get a relationship? I don't even <laughs> bond with the person where I deal with. Oh, and they tell people and say, "I'm me for bond, I'm me for bond for us, but you know, wait for me." Yeah. But the true picture was I was too serious for you by then. Right, right. So now probably you don't be on serious now. But how much older were you then? Her, that was um twenty. Yeah, then ten day. In be the if I be the school self, me na me be the beer self back. I was in um college by then, okay. then in the like secondary school. Well, okay. so that was a problem yeah. right yeah. there. So I was too serious by then. No, course. you weren't too serious. You just were not on an equal playing field. Yeah, you were Definitely. in the same you, place in you, your life. Yeah, yeah, you do it, you don't supposed to do. You go, you go dip your toe inside, you pull where you don't put on, dip your toe. Yeah, <laughs> you want that serious girl like you said, if you don't go for the one way before No, but it, love happens oh, everywhere. Or older. Or older. Uh -huh. and, yeah. So I'll say for men, we have to be sincere with ourselves and um, in looking for a soulmate, soulmate, a partner, you have to be sincere and know what you want and um, see all the qualities. Mm -hmm. 
don't just see half and half. Not go for the bobby, not go for the race. Hey, Tengo come, hey, yeah. Hey, no, well, why are they say this? Not go for the bobby, not go for the waist. Ten go carry something and get for do surgery. Oh, the waist, no. I mean, the that's thing. if you have the money to do the surgery. Yeah, that's okay. True. Ten go carry sickness go come. Anything can come. That waist go go down. Everything. Gravity. The face gravity, go wrinkle anything, with time. Anything. So anything. if na, na looks make you go into that relationship, looks Very will take you out of that relationship. Yeah. And now a lot of marriages or a lot of relationship, the human and I endure the endure, not to enjoy the enjoy anymore. Sure. I'll be here for the picking sake. I'll be here for waiting people and go say, I'll be here for the whatever. Mm-hmm. So now make, Nikki make mention of God Mami. Mm-hmm. You know why now we probably have home, go to God Mami, God Daddy again? Mm-hmm. Because the God Mami or God Daddy, they will be the selected now based on money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm selecting Nikki now for be God Mami because he will give me one, two million or three mm-hmm. million for me married. I select you now, you will give me one, two million, three million. So we case come, I don't think so, not too much of our Lulam. I right, don't think right. so. I take it either to social media. Yeah. I make a video of myself yeah. explaining. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is my story. It hits me now. Say, hey, this way they beat me now. Say, when I don't know, they talk for them. Then everything they did now. Then right. on social media, I get for advice now. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. no, mm-hmm. I didn't. They talk the yeah. case now. So Ultimately, now we get so many online um, um, or in laws now. We get them now. We like now online. I don't. They call that the stakeholder in the relationship. So I think that is missing. So as a man. Like for me now, seated here, I, I'm I'm looking for a partner who. Oh, are you single? Well, I'm not married, but I'm not <laughs> also. I, I, I am single, we, but not searching. Are you searching. in relationship? You're single, yeah, I'm but not, single, but not, not searching. searching. I like, I like so, that. So, so that definition. Yeah, you're not the same department. Yeah. Yeah, well, so no, you now are president of single ladies. Yeah, single ladies coalition. So maybe you, I don't know where I am. You are I'm searching or not? I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Being single means that you are okay. happily single. single. You so, are content with single. So for now. me, mm-hmm. as much as I'm not married yet, but I'm looking for a partner who we can build together, sure. the future yeah. together. Mm-hmm. We get picking together. Yes, we can look towards building together, bringing so much fun, so much ideas together. Mm-hmm. But one thing I have a mantra I have developed for myself, a partner who doesn't bring or add anything to me, mm-hmm. or a partner who myself not they bring or add anything to them, mm-hmm. we know they'll meet up. Absolutely. So that's a mantra I've developed from college, sure. coming no, up to that. And it has helped me. So okay. even when I go into a friendship, I look for a friend where they will influence or impact. Mm-hmm. And instead of where they will influence and impact me. If not, now we start waste me time. I agree. So I look for a partner who's self-reliant, independent. I look for someone who has the future at hand, not to somebody where they come for the name now. Because a lot of people come for the name. Because they don't see you don't already. Yes, yes. You don't Branding. make now. They you don't brand yourself now. Yeah, 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 the brand. Yeah. Takes on the shine. Yeah. So, but I tell you this: those people who want to associate with the brand now, they are not real. Of course sometimes. Not. Of course not. So that's the more reason why I was having this idea. Coming up, I'm a football fan. I support Arsenal. Okay. So I really look at why they football are they not married? You go see they pay them two hundred thousand. 200 pounds. But then he married. Yeah, we didn't keep no, married. No, why are they asked? Bad, bad why are they asked? Mm-hmm. Why are they asked? Why are they not keep married? For all that money. Because in Africa, we just think, say, now nah, the money make Bokuma no married. Sure, sure, sure. Where sure. the money can for married? Yeah. As you begin work, yeah. so the people are not being put on there, you for begin married. married. Yes. Mm-hmm. The point is, it's not a, it's not a one-sided uh, um, street. Mm-hmm. The woman, you say, they come for your property. Mm-hmm. Or you, but look at the women that you're going after. Right. And the places that they're going, looking for these women. The women that they're meeting, these mm-hmm. women who are, they're looking for the ballers, the players, the this and that. And you go for the, and okay. so you go to the places where they are. Now, Nikki, and you, so that's their exposure. Now, Nikki, let me tell you this now. The most dangerous way to find the place, Usai, for fan partner, they right now, the church or mocks. I mean, I'm not going to actually... That's the most dangerous place than the guys now. I'm not going to disagree with you because I think a lot of times the messaging where they come out from... The pulpits from the societies within the is that is really pushing people into relationships where you know because obviously there's the Bible, there's the Quran, you, mm-hmm. you know you shouldn't be on that what that unequally yoked thing means is yeah. mean different different mm-hmm. things, but you should you know uh, the, you know you shouldn't be um, having uh, sex outside of marriage. So if the boyfriend and girlfriend and puts them together, I mean, all that. but then it whether it's within the church family within the Quran family, whatever the family with mosque family, it still boils down to the same thing. Yeah. If the people are not compatible, they're not compatible. Sure. You they find out because I mean and, I'm not and compatible. So this is the other thing yeah. is that people change. When they meet yes. other people. People change when they meet other people, mm-hmm. circumstances, circumstances. In life, the mm-hmm. world, mm-hmm. people change, they evolve. Definitely. And so my take, I always tell people that, you know, I'm 
you know, there's a song by Outkast. Maybe people of a certain age um, don't necessarily know this reference, album. but the love there's this line. It's like, if nothing is forever, what makes love the exception? Yeah. Why are we so in denial when we know we're not happy here? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my take on relationships. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what I know is, yes, it is possible for a relationship to weather the storm and mm-hmm. last forever. Mm-hmm. But in my own life, I do not go into any relationship with the expectation that this is a relationship that will last or serve me my entire lifetime. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with the other person. Mm -hmm. It could be that I can be with you, right? You could be who you are from day one to day 500. Mm -hmm. But I could also wake up one day And and I'm like... I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I'm not interested in men. Mm-hmm. I don't like this. I don't like that. People change. But I think that the problem is so many people place their sense of security in a marriage that they, they refuse to open themselves to the possibility that, yes, the hope or expectation is that this will last forever. However... Yeah. It is possible because that's just life mm. that this won't last forever, right? And give yourself that like freedom and not be scared or fearful of the fact that it could end. But people just don't. Do you know that's a privilege that we have now? That our mothers didn't have. Sure, which is why a lot of relationships back then, they can say, yeah. oh, that's you why know, they lasted. Well, them. you know, we granny there, we, we mama, mama and they left. Mm-hmm. They couldn't leave. They, right? didn't, they, they didn't, didn't have the because option. They, they, it was, a lot of it was lack, lack of choices. Mm-hmm. And so far. They did. And so far. And definitely so far. Lack of choices. Yeah. And yeah. so it is, it, is a, it is a privilege and it's also, it is really a battle for independence to be able to, to get to that point where you're like, I am not less than because I choose not to be in relation right. with yeah. you or mm. whoever yeah. at the end of the day. Mm. Peace of mind is a flex. I think something that makes it also difficult for a lot of people here is, as we were saying earlier, religion, because, for example, you know, for Muslims, I don't know for Christians, but yeah. for Muslims, it's a thing that, like, a Muslim must marry, right? Mm-hmm. A Muslim woman must marry. Mm-hmm. You cannot not, if you're not Muslim, you're married, mm-hmm. right? Sure. It's part of the faith, right? Mm-hmm. So then to be a Muslim woman who's not married, it's like, eh, so you know I'm doing, God don't tell you for do, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And yes, I'm a Muslim woman, but I'm an unmarried Muslim woman because at the end of the day, I look to what is best for me as an individual. Um, and I don't allow society to determine um, what Vicky should do. Because mm-hmm. I can always say, right now I sit on air, I get both bad that we married, right? And I know what's in the go on at the relationship mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if not this not the option, Papa God, yeah, no thank you. Right. Where well, you left me in the air, so because right. really, really are not they soft people, then they yeah. suffer. Yeah. What's yeah. really mm-hmm. important, as, as Nikki and both Roxon have said, is for me at least, it's shared values, compatibility partnership, and most importantly, friendship. Mm-hmm. That woman or that man way not go want you if you were war, or we not go want you if you not get money. No. Not force for keep him. Sure. Not force for keep him because that means, say, where the thing run out. out. That man way want you only for your beauty. Beauty's going to fade. <laughs> that man way want you only for your beauty. Just no say... All that woman get for day we find past you, yeah. Yeah. he get for go. Yeah, and I make any tell a man tell me say, hey, you fine. Mm-hmm. Talk to, to him. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm just like the one thing where I not get no control over. Why not even contribute for? Mm-hmm. Now you not the favorite thing where you get mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. me. <laughs> How I connect for me find mm-hmm. one. Yeah. No, this is now so amita, right? Like at the draw. Thank you. You yeah. tell me say you like me because I'm fine. I, I like I not get no. What I think. For me, for me, it's like the worst compliment yeah. way man go pay me for like late guy for yanning. Now for tell me, say, hey, you so fine, you this, 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 this. I'm just like, 
But for some men, it's the starting point. No, even if you start today. Yeah, but it depends on who you're talking if to. If you start yeah. today, no. Because to it me, really does. to me, I don't value myself based on my external exactly. looks, right? Definitely. I, I don't, I not think say that God puts me in a for man in pleasure and enjoyment, right? Mm-hmm. So a man who meets me and is very or solely focused on my physical, you know, how I look physically, mm-hmm. it's like, now that's not concern, right? Now, now that's not focus. I don't want so me self self as as a woman. I'm like, and and women in general. If you now woman where they play into this, we don't buy into the idea. Say the best way you get for gain at the world now you fineness no. or you waste or you bobby. You totally put and you aid. Mm-hmm. You walk at the world like I say, look quite fine, look quite fine, look quite fine. You go also attract man then way the young men. they look for objects, mm-hmm. right? And they'll treat you as such. Of course, of course, mm-hmm. of course. Then go take you. You self go use them for money. In self go use you for your body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then way una not able to get with una wants from each other. Palava begin all man going separate mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. So um, all in all, I think that the lesson here for us, all of us here today, is slow down. Yes, take your time. Yeah. Master yourself. Understand yourself. Before you even start thinking about um, a partner or girlfriend or long term relationship, because really, you know, we defend parts now, posting for marriage. Now, now, now your future, you, did, you did actually yeah. plan, right? Sure. So if you don't know yourself and you're not able to evaluate on your own level, would that be it? Not go fan posting because maybe by the time you become who you are and know who you are, the possibility you may not choose. No, no longer match the vision oh, so or the lifestyle. Like, oh, you become at that point? Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. you get for, we get to be able to be in the position where we really you like yourself. Mm-hmm. Not just liking yourself, but you lack, you don't mind for day by yourself. Mm-hmm. You enjoy your own company, right? Yeah. I, I can imagine you, you, you don't mind going out and having a meal by yourself, right? Mm. Hanging yeah. out? At all. I mean, do you, does, it, does a woman have to be with you? Do you even have to have your boys with you to have a good time? Not always. I think that the, for me, I always say the greatest flex for a woman. Can you, in this Sierra Leone, because especially Sierra Leone, you, young woman, if you're in your 20s, going to your 30s, whatever, can you wake up in the morning and say, oh, I want this. Oh, I feel for it's this. And grab yuan green and goody and sit down and enjoy yourself. Or are you waiting for somebody? Somebody has to go with you. Somebody has to take you. Your enjoyment is always dependent on, on somebody someone. else. Mm-hmm. Your, you know, your ability to move through a space is always dependent on having other people with you. Mm-hmm. You have to get comfortable with yourself. Mm-hmm. And I think so. Once you become comfortable with yourself, you attract a certain type of person as well. I agree. You know. So thank you. So well, self love mm-hmm. is the best love, and um, there's also a word that says. Go into relationship when you think you're ready, not because you think you are lonely. Some people in feel they're ready. Thinking, thinking, sure so. And it's not the age. <laughs> well, it's not the age as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sure so. Thank you so much for joining me today. This conversation yeah, was, was delicious. <laughs> You've been listening to another wonderful edition of the Make Sierra Leone Famous podcast. My guests in the studio today have been Nikki Spencer Coca and. Mr. Roxlin Alwin Findlay, and we've been talking about relationships with Kilam. And of course, in this instance, we mean Kilam as in, with make him better. Mm-hmm. Is it love or is it money? Um, I hope you've learned a lot today. And if you haven't, listen again. Just play the episode back, <laughs> make, you, make you learn. <laughs> if you miss some, play the episode back, let you get some. This is the Make Sierra Leone Famous podcast. I'm your host. Vicky Remote. Today's show was recorded live from Freetown in Sierra Leone at the VRNC Marketing Studios. On camera one is our multimedia producer, Augustine Cargbo. On camera two, we have Alassane Lamine Cargbo. No relation, then just get the same last name. And our, our sound engineer and co producer is Frank Vin Bob McEwen. If you love the Make Sierra Leone Famous podcast, don't forget to share it in your WhatsApp, with your friends, on your social media, so that they can also lean in for the conversation. And if you're listening to this on Spotify, Mac, or on Apple Podcasts, and you like it, and really, really like it, don't forget to leave us a review, because that's how other people get to discover the show. Una tenki, tata.